I feel like I haven't even made a proper video in some time. <laughs> Hey guys, I know I'm a week late, but that was because most of my December favorites were actually at school, so now I'm finally back at school, and um, today is my birthday, and don't worry, I'm really handling getting old really well. It's okay. Okay. Okay, anyway, so yeah, I'm 22 today. That just sounds so old to me. That doesn't sound old to you. That sounds really old to me. It's like, when you're 21, it's like, oh yeah, 21. Like, and at least in America, it's big because, you know, drinking and all that stuff. But, like, then you're 22, and you don't even get asked, like, anymore, like, oh, where do you go out to bars? Like, are you having fun? It's like, what's your job? What's your career? Are you going to have a family? Da, da, da. What are you doing after college? And you're just like... Anyway. It feels like a perfect night to dress up like hipsters. We're happy, free, confused, and lonely at the same time. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. I'm not. I'm so old. I'm so old. If you'd like to say hi, yeah. <laughs> this girl's almost 22! Ah! <laughs> you love me. And this girl just turned 21 in August. I'm a baby. I'd rather be 22. No, you don't. Yeah. No one wants to be 22. You are so much more respected. <sighs> yeah. Everyone takes you seriously. When you're 21, people are like... Yeah, but when you're 22 and with purple hair, no one takes you seriously. Well, they think you're cool, so... It's all good. Yeah. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, let's get on past this whole birthday meltdown that I'm having, and let's move on to December favorites. And I don't have a lot, because to be truthful, I was doing finals week, um, which you saw in my vlogmas, and I didn't really go shopping. I kind of just, I did not do much. I kind of just studied, and then I did vlogmas when I went home, and that was so stressful, and then at that point, I only had, like, six days left of December, so this is kind of what I've been using, so let's just get started. Okay, so for beauty, I have never really gone to Lush. It was, it was interesting. It smells so good in there, but yeah, um, they gave us, like, free samples, and this is, this one is Turkish Delight, and it's, like, a soap. It's like a soap and a hand cream in one, so like you wash your hands with it, and then it's like creamy. <laughs> I don't know if this was like a limited time thing. I don't know if people who go to Lush know that. I don't. I don't know. They're just like here, and so I've been a big fan. It smells delicious. So this is a, as you can tell, Mac lipstick, and I've actually even done a winter look with it, and I've just been so obsessed with this color and I did get it in December I just feel like I've worn it like every single day of my life in December and it's Lady Danger and it is A74 if that means anything to you I don't know that's what beauty gurus do I'm gonna just go with it but um and it, it's a matte color and I'm just obsessed with it it's orange and red and if you don't want to go for that normal berry look for this um, for the winter, it's like the perfect color. And I'll put the tutorial somewhere around my face. Okay. Even though that was only $17, a little bit cheaper of a version of just like a matte lipstick. I went to H&M and I got this beautiful color. And mm, mm, it's called Dita. Um, and <laughs> I don't know, I'm a big fan of matte lips. Winter, when I'm just in classes, matte lip. Oh, the Okay, I actually got this camera from, what's that place, Urban? Oh, Urban Outfitters. It's a, what's that place that always conscious, causes controversy? Urban Outfitters. And I think you probably get these online. And they each come with like a different filter. So when you take a picture, it's not focusing. There you go. When you when you take a picture, it says different things like on. So, I'll be taking plenty of pictures. This is something that I have probably needed my entire life, and I just finally got from my uncle. 
he got it for me for an early birthday present and it is a portable charger and it's a giant one like it can charge four four phones like up to 100 percent so you know i'm already down with it and it has it even has like a cool um flashlight it's too light you can't see and this is how you can tell if it's charged if it has three it's fully charged two it's like you know partially charged and then a th one you have a little bit of charge left but yeah and you just plug in your usb into here so you don't ha you don't have to look for like a wall outlet and i literally have this on me even when i'm in class because i'm obsessed with making sure my phone is fully charged it's a problem i know okay, speaking of phones this case I don't want to blind you with the light, but that is you if you can see. It's a little warped, but um, if you saw all my vlogmas, I got this for myself F for Black Friday because it was $8 on Shop Jean, and it is literally the funnest case. I take it with me, and so, like, if I'm out, so many people are like, oh my god, what's that phone case? Are you looking at yourself? And it's just so fun. And on that whole phone thing, majig that we're going on, tech gloves. Um, you can see like the fingers have the metallic. I've worn these for the past like four winters, so they're a little beat up, but it's cold again in Pittsburgh. It's freezing, it's snowing, it's windy, and uh, yeah. Why have gloves that you can't use your smartphone with? Like, I don't even get that point, like, other than that thing. Keep your hands, but like, that's why you have hand warmers. You just like stick them in the inside of your hand, your gloves. Duh, anyway, tech gloves. So you can pretty much get them anywhere. Amazon, Target, any place. Okay, now this is moving on to clothes. Um, Wow, 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 I just made that so important. <laughs> okay, it's not really a clothes, but I bought it when I got clothes. And this is a across the body. <laughs> I buy it, and it's, I got it from H&M. I lied, Forever 21, what do I say? And it has these two small pockets, a zip pocket, and it's a pretty decent size. I brought this bag out with me. It has like metal things at the bottom. I brought this bag out with me when I went out for New Year's and it was really great because most of these kind of bags don't have a zipper and I don't know I just like when I'm out especially like a club where I was I'm not saying club was sketchy I'm just saying like people are sketchy <laughs> sometimes and it has a zipper and that means like really no one can get into your bag unless you know unless you are really not that aware okay going off of New Year's and what I wore this is a dress that I got from H&M and it has a gold kind of like they're little beads. Focus, not on me. There. Um, and it's down the neck, around the neck, and down the back. And then the back has like backy slit things. Insert picture of me here wearing it. Okay. And it's quite long, and it has like, I like when things have like lines. I don't know if you're gonna be able to even see this. They have lines though. Um, and just when there's like good lining. Oh my God, it's snowing again outside. Anyway, when there's good lines, it just looks a lot different. It looks really good if you're not like, you know, small like me. I have a bit of a body and I know that. So this, and it has long sleeves because I'm slightly self-conscious about my arms and it just felt like it was good for the winter and it was really hot to wear but um, the back kind of kept me cool so that was nice but it just looked really nice. I'll insert another picture of it here. Okay, and this was 50 bucks but I think it was worth it because I can probably get a good couple wears out of this like going to dinner going anywhere to be truthful if you want to look fancy this dress if you have been my snapchat friend you would know that I actually looked at this dress probably last spring maybe I don't know and or even this sometime in this fall I don't remember and it has like a leather center with the um 
what's that called? Like when it, like I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a, a fashion guru person. I just wear clothes that I like. Um, and it just is so it's slimming on both sides. I don't know how to explain it. And then the bag it just is a zipper and straight black. I figured I could either wear this going out or even to an interview because I actually have to start looking for those kind of clothes. Last item. So this is a male, it's, it's a female cut tuxedo jacket type of thing. It was 35 bucks, but I have to say, my aunts and uncles are amazing at getting me gift cards, so literally just H&M gift cards are, are amazing. But um, there are no buttons, so it's a you have to keep it open. There also, I think these pockets are fake, but maybe if I can get them to be real, I'll cut them. You ever do that? I do that. Um, and it just fits really nice. It keeps, you keep it open, obviously, because there's no buttons. And I've just been looking for like a tuxedo type of jacket for some time. I actually might make another one of those like how I would style kind of videos like I did with the fur coat, but with this like casual, somewhat casual, fancy, that kind of thing. If you so want me to, comment down below. That is it. That is the end of my December favorites. Like I said, sorry it's a week late, but all of my stuff was here, so I couldn't really make a December favorites when it was all here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed some of those items. If you like them, or have them, or want to know more about them, check out my blog post, which I did about my December favorites, as I always do, which I put up on Wednesday. So yesterday for you and don't forget Sunday I will see you with my weekly vlog of which I'm trying to do because you guys liked my vlogmas so much and I also put up my nail post on Sunday so I will see you then so I totally forgot a, one of my December favorites and it was the 1989 album by Taylor Swift like how could I forget I don't even know if it came out in December but I feel like that's all I listen to in December so the top five songs of the week are basically Taylor Swift. It's the entire album. We'll just put just Taylor Swift, the entire 1989 album is one through five. And these are top five ways that I'm handling getting old. Not, not well. Anyway, I will see you guys Sunday with another vlog and have a wonderful day. Bye. I sound like a man. Excuse me. I know, but I'm making a video and it's going up tomorrow, so. Body, shoulder bag. Shoulder bag across the belt. Like I said, I'm 22. These are top five ways that I'm handling being old. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm wearing pajama pants and you can't tell. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, want to see her bat slip? I feel like my nostrils are so giant. Oh my god, it's snowing so hard right now. Just 20 minutes of recording. That's awesome. I have so much.